Grade 4 Math number 49. This is Lesson 5.4 and it's a remake. It's a new version of what are common multiples. We have 3 times 4. Those are factors of 12. 12 is the product. It's a multiple of both 3 or 4. And a multiple is a product. And the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And we could keep going. We could keep skip counting by 2. They would all be multiples of 2. And the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And we could keep going, skip counting by 3. And the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16. And we could keep going, skip counting by 4. And by looking at these list of multiples, we can see the multiples that each list has in common. So if we looked at these lists, do you see any numbers they have in common? Well, the multiples of 2 and the multiples of 3 both have a 6. And they both have a 12, don't they? And the multiples of 3 and the multiples of 4 have a 12 in common. Those are common multiples. And they both have a 24 in common, don't they? See? We can find their common multiples by making a list of their multiples. So take a look at this calendar. On this calendar, this is the work days that Emma works and the days that Tala works. Now, Emma works every three days and Tala works every five days. So Emma works on the third, the sixth, the ninth, the twelfth. See, it's every three days. See, she works and then one, two, three, she works again. One, two, three, she works again. But Tala works every fifth day. So she goes one, two, three, four, five. Now she works and then one, two, three, four, five. And now she works. And we can see the common multiples, the common days that they work. They're both going to work on the 15th and they're both going to work on the 30th together. See that? And we can see the days that they work together. The days they work together are common multiples of 3 and 5. If we make a list of the multiples of 3 and a list of the multiples of 5, they have 15 and 30 in common. The common multiples are shared multiples. All right, so it's like shared products, okay? The multiples of 2 and 8, we list all the multiples of 2. We start with 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. See, it's 2 times a counting number. So we list all the multiples of 2. We do the same thing for 8. 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, and we keep going, skip counting by 8. And we can figure out and circle the common multiples they have. They both have an 8, they both have a 16, they both have a 24. And we could keep going up and skip counting by 2 here and skip counting by 8 here, and there would be even more they have in common. Usually the most important one is the smallest one they have in common. The least number. That's the important number, okay? For the multiples of 3 and 4, what are their common multiples? They have 12, 24, and 36 in common. We made all the list of multiples for 3. 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4. See? We did the same thing for the 4s. Four, 4 times 1, 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3, and we kept going. And we circled the ones they have in common. 12, 24, and 36. Look at the common multiples for 7 and 8. Look at this. There's nothing, and then all of a sudden it's 56. And you want to know something? That's what 7 times 8 is. It's 56. Sometimes we can find a common multiple by multiplying the two numbers together. So let's figure this out. We want to know if they're factors or multiples of 30. 30, is it a factor or multiple of 30? Well, a factor is a number that can be multiplied by another number to find a product. A multiple is a product. So if it's the answer, then it's the multiple, okay? 30 is the answer in 30 times 1, so it's a multiple. But look, it's also a number that's multiplied to get it. 30 times 1 is 30, so it's both a factor and a multiple. 5, well, 5 times 6 is 30, so that's a factor. It's a number we multiply together to get 30. 60, that's the answer. So that's a multiple. 10, it's a number we multiply together to get to 30. So that's a factor. 6, that's a number we multiply together 
with another number to, to get 30. So that's a factor. And 90, we have to multiply something to get 90, 30 times a counting number. So it's a multiple. It's an answer. See? So if it's a product, then it's a multiple. If it's one of the multiplicands or, or the factors are going to be inside the problem here, they're what's multiplied together. Okay? So... I want to thank and give a shout out to Dr. S.M. Ahmad because he found a mistake in my old version video. And I like to remake them when there's a mistake. So I appreciate when people find an error, I put it on a list for remake and I remake them to make them better. Okay? So thank you for catching that error. I had one of my multiples wrong. My multiplication facts were wrong. And I'm human, and I make mistakes, so I appreciate the good, sharp eyes that keep me on my toes. We're going to talk about prime numbers next, and I hope I'll see you there. Bye.